All right, guys, I just got off my Delta One flight. It was a really quick flight from JFK to um, Accra. It was about nine or 10 hours. We actually see the coastline all the way back there. So yeah, I'm super excited to go see the beach later on. Ghana is very developed um, compared to the rest of, rest of West Africa. Ghana, formerly known as the Gold Coast, has become one of the hottest places to visit. Named top most beautiful and safest African country to visit. My name is Coria Burns and I am super excited to have 17 of my friends here in Ghana with me. This is my eighth trip to Ghana and after several trips, people were saying hey we want to go too oh okay first i want to say thank you for keeping up with me on this series is this series i don't know what it is but i have been everywhere like basically just posting stuff here and there and thank you guys for keeping up with me i appreciate it okay and if you're new welcome but to all of you that have been here i appreciate you if you have not subscribed come on uh, hit the subscription button feel free to subscribe if you just subscribe without owning the bell you won't get notification when next you might not even find me again on youtube and you might forget the name and you start thinking that girl that i saw that wears makeup that talks blinker eyes like this <laughs> so the best way to get me again to see me again without stress is by subscribing and turning on the bell notification and you put it on the one up that says all that way anytime i upload a video go live or make a post you would be notified now let's get straight into today's video i want to react to vi videos by foreigners who visit ghana and what they have to say there impression of ghana why they keep coming back to those that keep coming back non-stop and this is because of a recent video or videos that i have seen on youtube here by my fellow nigerians how they felt bad that nigeria got three votes by the un nigeria got three votes for a country that has no human rights nigeria no get human rights i have i have freedom of speech so what are they talking about it's beyond all of that right for nigerians they don't get it why it is you know some of them already go as far as saying oh it's because of the kind of information that we nigerians are putting out there about our country that is why no Nobody's going to judge you that way. I can actually come out and tell you I'm beautiful. And I can come out and tell you that when you meet me in real life, I'm light skin. I'm as popping as you see me here. Uh, do you understand? But when you see me in, uh, in real life, am I like that? The answer is no. I'm using a bunch of lights or bunches of lights. I'm using a bunch of lights to do my videos because this is what I want to create. This is the impression of me I want you to get out there. Do I wear makeup all the time or maybe to sleep? No, I don't. But you see me, I want that to be out here, right? But when you come to my house at night or when you come to my house on, on a regular day, am I looking like this? The answer is no. I look unkept most of the time. Do you understand? I look like not unkept, but I don't have the time. Like I don't look all this put together. Like I always look in front of you. Okay, so I'm beating around the bush, right? But I'm heading at something. It's not about what we say about our country. It's about what it is about our country and what foreigners are saying about our country. And that is why today I want to take, I want us to take a look at a couple of videos by foreigners who visit Ghana, their first impression, what they have to say, their experience. And some of them are even saying, in fact, all of them are saying that Ghana is the safest and most developed country in africa you're not going to hear that from my mouth i'm helping her to i mean she said and i quote so you are going to hear from her own mouth uh there are a lot of videos where do we start from let's start with emily let's go emily has been to so many countries including papau new guinea <laughs> this girl gay mind emily freaky went to papau new guinea all by herself all right, guys, I just got off my Delta One flight. It was a really quick flight from JFK to um, Accra. It was about nine or 10 hours, um, and I slept the whole way through, so it was great. I'm just 
just wanted to give you guys a little bit um, of information on the visas. If you're coming from the United States, you can apply for a visa online. Um, those are cheaper. It's about $60 to apply online and you can uh, you can just apply online. It's very simple, very um, pretty quick. Um, I waited <laughs> and got a visa on arrival because I just wanted to kind of know the process um, of going through that. It's really, really simple, really quick. When you get to Ghana, you need a picture of your yellow fever vaccination card, um, but you can get the visa on arrival and it's $150 USD. You have to bring cash and you have to bring crisp brand new notes. They can't have uh, tears in them. So visa on arrival, super, super easy. Um, they do want you to have two pages open in your passport. I didn't have two pages left, uh, so they still stamped, which is really nice, but they, they want you to have two empty pages. Um, so yeah, when you get here, if you order an Uber or a Bolt, uh, they do have to pay a price inside for picking someone up at the airport. So you'll see your driver get out of the car and then they're gonna come back and then they'll continue on the trip. A really cute little Airbnb. It has this kitchen area and I haven't seen the bathroom yet. Not too sure but that's okay um and then this is just the bed has some ac and just to give you a perspective i think this airbnb was about 50 dollars a night and this is actually one of the nicer areas in Accra. it's right off of the beach you can actually see the coastline all the way back there so yeah i'm super excited to go see the beach later on Ghana is very developed um, compared to the rest of rest of West Africa. So um, this is this, one of the more developed countries on the West Coast. Looks like we already got a friend. My Airbnb was nice enough to give me some um, Ghana chocolate. It's not very sweet. It's very, very milky, but it's not very sweet. All right, guys, so this is my very first morning in Accra, Ghana, and first things first, I am going to go get some CD or some Ghana currency. Um, I'm gonna head over to the mall just because I know they have a lot of ATMs there, and I also wanna check out the malls here in Ghana. I've heard they're really nice, uh, so I'm really excited to go see those. Red Red with fried plantains and chicken. This looks so good. Hold on guys, hold on. Let's talk about this girl's beauty. Why is she so cute? Hey, this, hold on, hold on. This girl is beautiful. Jeez. And let's keep going. There's something she there's something she said in the video. I might not share that here and I can understand. Do you understand? I get it. I get it. If I'm a man, I mean if I'm a guy, I mean, come on, this this baby's cute. <laughs> This red red is so good. It's really hearty and the black eyed peas give a really um, good face. It's really delicious. All right, guys, so this is my second morning here in Ghana. I am checking out of this Airbnb just because the bathroom has a funny smell. Um, so I'm gonna be moving up north, north of the airport to another Airbnb, and I'll show you guys that one too. Um, but my main goal today is just to go eat some fufu. I still haven't had fufu, and if you guys don't know, this is where fufu came from. It's a cassava flour that's stirred or mixed in a hot pot with water, um, and it becomes this like doughy texture, and they serve it with all kinds of dishes here. So I'm super excited. I wanna go get maybe some ground nut soup. I think that's what it's called. Uh, but we're gonna go find uh, some amazing food today. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of enjoy Ghana and go hang out. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so I didn't end up eating inside the restaurant. I also got this food to go, so now I have two things of food to go. Um, <laughs> I just I just ran out of time. I have to get back and um, call some people. So I wasn't able to sit in the restaurant and they took a really long time, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but I met these two really awesome people at the restaurant. They're so sweet and so friendly um, and they wanted to hang out later. So now I have friends in Ghana. I can say I have friends in Ghana or I know people in Ghana. <laughs> So I'm gonna meet up with them later. Um, it's like a girlfriend and boyfriend or a couple. Um, and then I'm gonna eat this food and show you guys 
what all of this looks like. I, I'm not even sure what I got. I got a whole bunch of stuff, but it smells amazing. Okay guys, so I got two different orders. One is Banku. The other one is just plain fufu. So this is just a plain fufu. And I've heard that this doesn't taste like anything. This is just cassava flour, um, kind of like beaten and mixed up in a hot pan. And they um, put it in hot water in a pan. This is so sticky. This is um, the one that I got from Fufu ASAP. And it had really good reviews online. Um, that place is also on um, food delivery apps too if you I don't know if you're here and you want to get some fufu to go um this place had really good reviews so this is the fufu <laughs> it's really sticky I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to be this sticky this is some banku and they wrap it in these uh banana leaves this one looks really good look at that you guys this is really hot too it has a little bit of a smell it kind of smells like sourdough you guys they gave me an entire tilapia um I think this is a chicken, like a chicken soup that I got from ASA. So I don't even know where I'm gonna put this. I think I'm just gonna pour some out into this styrofoam. I don't have a bowl for this. So this is what this looks like. It's really just a soup and then they put this chicken wing in here. Um, I think you just tear it off here. Oh my gosh. I've seen people do this. They just, they just kinda, very sticky it's very very sticky um i'm gonna try the banku this kind of reminds me this is the, oh see this is sticky too but it's not super sticky like the other one this kind of reminds me of tamales when you eat a tamale it has that maize on the outside of it but that one's corn and this is just flour hmm. it's very sour like it tastes like sourdough like a sticky a sticky sourdough is so good. Mm. Mm. A couple little bones, but so good. It's um, it's very flavorful. It has so much spice. I think my favorite food so far from Ghana has been red red. Red red are the black eyed peas that um, they were earlier in the video, but that's probably my favorite. The fufu is really good, and I'm glad that I came here to Ghana to get the fufu because this is where fufu is from. It's where Banku and, and fufu is from. Um, but it doesn't, it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. You you have to have something else with it, like really spicy or really sweet or some, something, like something else to give it that flavor. Um, otherwise it kind of just smells and tastes like sourdough, at least the Banku does. And then the other one, I mean, it's made out of flour. All right guys, it is raining today in Accra and I'm gonna go meet my friend at the Accra Mall and then we're gonna head down to the Makola Market and a museum. It's really, really cloudy and gray when it rains here. <laughs> Oh, it's called gone. The dialect here is called gone. You know, yeah. gone. We have gone. Gone. We gone. have G. 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 Yeah. So it's gone. G A. Okay. And then G. Okay. So yes, the dialect have, here. P. Yeah. Ga. And, and D. And we have Ewe. And Ewe. Yeah. We're in December here yeah. in, in West December. Africa. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to come during the cold months, it's going to be June, July. Yes, June, July. Does it ever rain during the cold months? Yeah, it does. It oh. rains a lot. Lots of rain. Lots and lots of rain. All right, we're here at the ATM. We finally got some cash. Yay! National Ghana Museum. Oh, this is cool. It looks like some old artifacts. I also got um, a piece of artwork from somebody selling outside. So what was your opinion on the museum? Did you like it? Yeah, I did. It was great. I myself didn't know a lot of things. The Palace Mall. It's even better that she brought the food. I am so thankful. This girl is very smart. Emily is smart. I won't lie. She's not just pretty. Like she knew she was going to be dramatic with the fufu and the banku. She brought it to her room at the Airbnb. To display that drama because man i don't know she'd of course it's seen at the restaurant eating like that <gasps> what i like her anyways 
so she have all of these experiences in ghana and she rated ghana and boom there's another video of her right she have gone back to her country in fact i told you guys recently i saw her at, at papa new guinea right now she has all of these reviews about ghana just she met people at the restaurant she met people she never knew before but she trusted them enough to hang out with them later they took her around nobody she didn't have any issues do you get it she went back safe and sound to her country nobody tried to break into her nobody tried to break into these nobody these are the issues okay it's not the youtube videos that nigerians are making i mean some nigerians are making about the things that we feel we don't have in our country and that we believe can we can we can do better so it has nothing to do with these things it has everything to do with the feeling that the people get when they get there so the energy that we put into criticizing nigerians that are not promoting nigeria we can put it into encouraging or advising nigerians that come in counter with foreigners especially our immigration officers at the airport start with that and then you tell the government to put on the light at the airport if this is all they can do buy fuel to put on the light so that when someone gets down that first impression it will brighten them because electricity as a matter of fact light brings happiness so these are the issues okay now she's not the only one she's white right let's take a look at black like us that comes into Ghana and what they have to say. Ghana, formerly known as the Gold Coast, has become one of the hottest places to visit. Named top most beautiful and safest African country to visit, I am proud to say I live in this beautiful country. With its many waterfalls, castles or forts, great nightlife and tasty dishes, Ghana is the place to explore. In this video, I want you to journey with me as I go through a busy day and share a few mistakes I notice tourists make when they visit the motherland. If you definitely avoid these mistakes, your visit has just turned up a notch. Come along as I share some do's and don'ts when visiting Ghana. So one of the first mistakes I think tourists do when they come to Ghana is not trying local food. How do you come to Ghana and not try local food? Like, how do you go anywhere and not try local food? To be honest, like, you should always try at least one or two of the native dishes from wherever you travel to. So I don't know why people will come here and not try some of these foods. I know you guys have seen in many of my videos me eating all types of Ghanaian food. I grew up eating Ghanaian food, so I don't have a problem. Like, when I came here, there was no culture shock in terms of food for me but like the food that i would recommend for sure for you guys to definitely try you probably tried it already in america but it's definitely start off with the rice dishes i think that's a little easy on the stomach so jollof rice fried rice um watch it which is pretty much rice and beans so this is that when you are coming down bring cash lots of it <laughs> you need to bring cash um you can change them at the forest bureaus when you come here to get the local currency but bring cash and bonus tip which i've actually shared almost like every year when i put out my guide and preparation for when you come to ghana to visit ghana is make sure you bring big notes big denominations so bring 50s and hundreds hundreds if you really can because when you change them at the um, forest bureau they actually give you a higher rate when um you give them a bigger note so for example if you give them a hundred dollar note and currently the rate is let's say 15.5 they're going to give it to you at that 15.5 but if you give them let's say a 20 dollar note or a 10 dollar note they might give it to you at 15.1 or 15.2 so you get more for your money if you give them a bigger note so bring bigger notes but i would really 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 advise to carry cash with you when you come here i'm not saying you can't not use your card you can but a lot of places just will prefer you to use cash so when you are coming down make sure that you bring cash like i said you can use your card but i advise that you use um cash especially if you're going to be visiting places like the market using local taxis and cars to get around um and even eating at local um restaurants or buying street food all of that requires cash so keep that in mind uh, ghana is addictive right 
for me i won't lie to you at this point i wish i didn't come to ghana you know why i love ukele so much like my village i love my village a lot and there are times i just want to go home when i tell my family i want to return the my mom would tell me you know what as i'm talking to you i'm kneeling down my eyes are closed and my hands are up i'm begging you don't try it don't come back do you understand <laughs> if i didn't come here i wouldn't know there is a life out here where you can just have at least some of these things basic things like electricity and peace of mind peace no worry it's expensive to live here fine it's true i agree nobody can tell me nothing because i have lived in nigeria and i'm living here i know the difference but then whatever you pay for here you get value for your money and if you want to be honest do you know how much i spend on electricity on a monthly basis in ghana i'm not using air conditioner right i use fans from time to time we use pressing iron like once a week or so my kids iron their uniforms and we use refrigerator and what television we charge our phones and i use these lights lit lights and ring lights that i'm using to film my youtube videos i charge my power banks phone name them my need my my niece charges her phone like basically we use lights like that we do not use air conditioner and do you know how much i pay for a month for my electricity in ghana Fifteen thousand naira if you want to convert it to naira i pay 150 ghana cities i buy my lights once a month and i always tell my niece to be careful like when i see that um, this electricity i'll just tell her don't use microwave regularly do more of gas right that way it would take us to one month fifteen thousand naira you know cost and i get this light maybe i get it out maybe hours in a week maybe for like some hours in a week sometimes i have my lights all through the whole two weeks no light out so my mom concern is that when i come back i'm always unhappy and she, she hates to see me that way as a mother i get it so i wish i didn't come but i'm here now and i'm now a spoiled brat i can't leave that quality of life that gets you addicted to the country is here now i'm not the only one it's cool to know you know it's good to know you're not the only one especially when na bad habits is consoling to know there are other people that are also doing the same thing now let's take a look at this person that have been to ghana over and over and this time because she keeps on going and when she gets back to her country she cannot keep her mouth together she shares her experience she tells friends 17 friends follow her to ghana let's take a look at that and i'll be back mm. My name is Coria Burns and I am super excited to have 17 of my friends here in Ghana with me. This is my eighth trip to Ghana and after several trips people were saying hey we want to go too and I said let's go and here they are 17 of my friends in Ghana for the very first time to see what I know and love. welcome you all to Ghana this is your home I know it's some of you's first time here but what you need to realize that you are back home yes. okay yes, where everything yes, yes, yes. started where your ancestors are this trip you are gonna connect back to the soil and for us as Guba for us for me Denta Corey who has been very instrumental in making this happen I'm so glad that she has called upon all of you to come back home we want to make sure Ghana will forever remain in your heart it will be emotional but it will be fun be yourself learn and just love I just want to say thank you guys for trusting me I mean a lot of you all have seen me come back and forth back and forth back and forth to Ghana and you ask me what is it this is part of the reason people I know you guys felt it when you got off the plane and what I call the Ghana effect because I sleep so well in Ghana is so much peace and so much joy if you don't get anything else at the end of this trip you will say you you felt peace and you felt joy these people are going back 
with great testimonies hey we had this we did this we did this so how do you think the un get their votes of confidence or how is it called vote of human rights or no human rights from these are the issues it's not me sitting here and beating my drum but if they want to judge ghana today my video self go follow because i'm not ghanaian nigeria got three votes three three let's say it's from the youtube videos mm? which i don't think is from but maybe it is ghana my videos will also contribute to ghana getting the kind of votes they get and it's cool that is because i'm not ghanaian get, get it but as a nigerian if i sit down here and begin to shout my country is good my country is the best my country is the best my country is the best and they come there afiba we no see afiba we no see do you understand let's walk on ourselves okay when we do that every other thing shall be given unto us try your best to talk to your yahoo boy brother ask come ask your family members what do you really do for a living all right ask them this simple question get to know what your family members are doing in south africa ghana wherever they are get to advise people you don't just come online and blame people for not promoting it is wrong in in christadom we call it self-exhortation god said in the bible that he don't like it not, not pride okay let's deal with the real issues and the world will love us see how they are trooping in this guy used to so let us reduce how we blame people the same platform you're using to blame people for not promoting nigeria use that same pl platform to promote nigeria if you think that is going to make it work all right i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in my next one